Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, good day everybody you know, in the Facebook live here in our download silo group. My name is Albert Tan, as everybody knows me. How are you guys? You know, uh, With me today is actually uh, Mr. Bas Abbasam Tarek uh, from Egypt. So he is the founder of uh, Stacks uh, Mobile App Builder. And we are happy to have him here to show us uh, how the app can build uh, very easily uh, a mobile app for your WordPress website. So before we start, uh, I would like everybody to type your name inside the chat so that we can see your name. And please click the chat.restream.io uh, slash Facebook so that we can see your name and your photo uh, in the screen. So can everybody do that? Yes, uh, Pratik, you have done that. Thank you. Uh, who else uh, in the stream? I'm not sure because uh, we are actually live now. So without uh, further ado, let me uh, ask uh, Basim, uh, Basam. Should I call you Basam? Yes, uh, Basam is the right. <laughs> <It's> the right <laughs> okay. <thing>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basam. So we are happy to have you here. So we would like to know more about uh, yourself and your company before you actually demo to us uh, how the app look like, how to build the mobile app. So why not you tell us the, what is your background you know, uh, of yourself you know, as a developer? Um, okay, sure. Uh, so my name is uh, Bassam Tariq uh, and I'm co-founder of uh, Stacks. Uh, for uh, maybe uh, about 10 years uh, for now, I've been building uh, websites and mobile applications uh, for uh, agencies for a uh, high ticket uh, price. But in the middle of the way, three years ago or something like that, uh, we've been thinking to, to offer an affordable way for people and business owners to be able to build uh, a mobile application uh, for an affordable way with the design that they want. They don't need to have uh, to, uh, to, to call for an agency to build their application for like $5,000 or $10,000. It can be easier, a lot easier than this. So uh, with, uh, with, uh, we have been thinking in a way to make it uh, through a builder, to design it the way you want. You know, most of the builders uh, out there or most of the, the applications out there are uh, that have uh, close functionality to each other. The functionality is a little bit close. You have a sign up, you have a login, you have a shop page, you have uh, a cart, a checkout and so on. So the only thing is that design and the user experience of the mobile application itself. So here comes our role and here comes Stacks. Stacks is built to design the application the way you want and enhance the, the user experience of the application and uh, adjust the application to match your brand with uh, the minimal cost ever, uh, ever needed. That's it. I so see. we had an MBA degree. I had an MBA degree in marketing. And uh, as a start, we, we, did a, we did a product as a prototype a couple of years ago and uh, launched it in Egypt here, locally in Egypt here, uh, to hear the customers' uh, feedback uh, from Egypt and uh, look for what they want. And once they gener started generating revenues and started scaling their business through our, through our uh, system stacks, we started uh, making it as an LTD offer uh, worldwide and contacted you actually. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, just before we uh, begin, so you have mm. stated that you, know, you have started Stack uh, quite some time ago. How long ago is that? Uh, we launched we launched the, the the builder the latest version. This is version number four actually, and we launched this version uh, on September. So uh, I believe, yeah, a couple of months ago or something. The, this, but the builder itself is available. This is the fourth version, as I said, and uh, it has been there. Stacks has been there since 2019. Oh, 2019. So that means you have yeah. actually uh, existing customer, uh, uh, recurring customer as well. Yeah, sure, sure. We have uh, um, uh, hundreds of subscribers actually as recurring subscribers. And uh, and in the in this Black Friday and Cyber Monday and so on, uh, people are loving actually the 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 builder brickets, and they are actually subscribing for the LTDs uh, with uh, with more than the hundreds that we have. <laughs> yeah, we have we have many subscribers from them. So so yeah, I believe that people are starting to love the the product and they are using it to generate revenues. 
Yeah, that that's good because uh, I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, founders have actually uh, <clears throat> built their products. You know, uh, some of them are fresh from the oven. You know, but for you, I mean, this product has actually been about a year or two. You know, so I would say that he has gone through a, a few iteration already. So I believe it's a good software. But let's see uh, how how you no. would uh, go to us. So okay, yeah. let me ask you one more question. Uh, sure. In how big is your team? You know, are you uh, you have a team or you have a company or something like that? Uh, yeah, yes, sure. We are, we are a team. We consist of uh, 12 uh, members. Uh, we mm -hmm. are developers, supporting members, and uh, marketing, uh, and the rest are managerial positions for stacks. So see. it's not a quite small team. It's uh, yeah, medium, medium team, medium scale team, I guess. Okay, okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, let me answer a few questions in the chat box. Uh, Sean, uh, you were asking where is the deal. You can actually look at the deal at the, in this post up there in our Facebook post. Then you can see the deal. Okay, I will show you the deal link as well. So you can go to downloadsilo.com slash go slash stacks, you know. So yep. let me check uh, what are the questions on the right-hand side. Uh Please write down your name because uh, sometimes we cannot see your name because of uh, restream is uh, quite uh, restricted by this uh, Facebook privacy, uh, what they call a uh, policy. They can't uh, display your name unless you give permission to restream to display your name. Okay, let's go. Uh, Nilayan, how are you? I know I see you. Larry Tan, how are you? Uh, Pongnam Nguyen from Vietnam, how are you? Pratik, how are you? Okay, nice. Uh, Basam, why don't you straight go away to your screen uh, to demo to us uh, how you can actually build uh, this uh, mobile app uh, from a website, you know, in a very easy uh, way or the fastest way. Please share your screen, please. Uh, okay, this is before this is before uh, replying to the questions the, because people are qu asking some questions here. What do okay. you think? Shall we reply yes. to them? Because there are some uh, interesting we, we questions, I guess. Later. You can reply ah, okay. now. Maybe there, there are one or two questions, but then yeah. maybe we should uh, demo first. We reply later. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's I mean, do the it. question okay. don't run away. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, I'll show the demo. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, guys, you can see the screen. Okay. Okay. Shall I start? Yes, we can see uh, that. Okay. Perfect. So. This is, for example, after after I took I just took a trial uh, from uh, before I start uh, I start the uh, the webinar here, and uh, uh, the first thing that I think that you you need to do is to choose uh, a template a template for your mobile application. So first of all, let's choose a template. You can start either from a blank screen or whatever the design template that you want to choose. Okay, so you can choose even it is uh, a toy store or car accessories or anything. All those demos are templates for the home screen. Okay, and the rest of the screens will follow uh, the same brand identity, the colors, the fonts, and so on. But the but they are not editable as the home screen till now. For now, the home screen is the uh, screen that is fully and uh, totally editable, as I'm going to show you now. Okay, so let's say I'm going to show uh, a, pharma, a pharmacy, something like for a pharmacy or medicine. Okay, so here we go. Once I ch I've chosen the uh, website, uh, the template that I would like to, uh, to work on, I can edit everything in this template. Starting from the header, I can choose whether it is uh, an image header or a background uh, color, just a color of the background header. Okay, like you see. You have the flexibility to change the color or choose another image, any image you can choose. Also, uh, you can change the slides, number of slides to be able to, to add or uh, add a text block or uh, categories or uh, images and so on. Okay. So now I can start with adding an image block, for example. Okay. So I added an image block. This is a sample. Uh, I can drag it wherever I want. Okay, I can change the uh, the size uh, of anything. Any, uh, yeah, I mean, let's say for example. Okay, let me refresh this page to be able to start it from scratch. Let's see. Let's add an image. Okay, let's change the position. 
Okay, as you see, I've changed the position easily through a drag and drop. I can change the image from here, choose an image, the image that I want, and then it will be there. Uh, I can add whatever text. Okay, there is an editor for the text uh, to whatever I want here. Okay, once I finish, there is also a products block. I can add the products. The products is there uh, with the latest products, for example, or the product categories. I can choose the category that I want from the website. I can choose as well the uh, the limits of the products to show. For example, I need to show three products, seven, any, any number. I can change the order. I can change actually the style, whether it is a grid, a three columns grid, or a carousel, for example. All of this is uh, fine and perfect, okay? And uh, there is also uh, an option to choose a category. For example, it's not a, mu uh, a must to have a products. There, I can choose a, pro a category. Manual select the number of categories to choose, or I can choose select all, all categories, for example, and change the style as well to a grid or, uh, or anything that you want. There's also an option to choose the post block. If I have a blog post, for example, okay, so that I can uh, modify the posts uh, to blogs and make it uh, readable for the uh, website. The most interesting part here is that in the image block, for example, when, once I have the image, I can make this image block link, whether to link to a certain product, once the person uh, clicks on it, he can link to a product or he can link to uh, a category or a post or even an external URL. And this is the most used part here. The external URL can be an embed chat link, can be a form link. Once you click on this image, you can open a form. And this form uh, can be uh, your window to uh, to register for an event or apply a coupon or something like that. And there's also a chat bot. Uh, okay, you can add the chat embed link for, from any chat service uh, where you can enable the chat uh, inside the application itself. Okay? And uh, this is the, the, the application of the image here. And also the same applies for the button as well. Okay? So the button, you can change the text of the button. You can change the link type of the button to external URL, products, and the product categories, and so on. Okay? So that's, that's, that's uh, the way that we change the design of the uh, system and the design of the application. After I'm done, I'm going to connect my website to uh, to the builder here by clicking by adding the link here and then clicking on connect, download latest plugin, and uh, applying the link to to the, the to here to this place. It must be an HTTPS so that your products and categories and orders are synced to the builder. Uh, after that, just click on the Android and choose a version, and your application will be built in a blink of an eye. Uh, for the splash screen and the icon and the name of the application and so on, all of this is managed from the settings here. You can add, choose the name and the package name and the splash and icon, and then you are done. Once you are done, just go to the Android and choose the version and generate app. That's it. The application, Android application will be built, and you will receive a notification in two minutes that the application is uh, perfectly ready for to, to be downloaded to your either to your mobile phone or uh, uploaded to uh, to Google Play. And the same for the App Store. But the App Store is uploaded automatically to the uh, to the App Store without being able to download anything. You will see it, the application uploaded automatically in the uh, iTunes. But you need to have uh, an iTunes developer's account. That's it. So this is for the first. All this is just for now. In After a week or so, we will be releasing uh, an edit for all the other pages, a, a place to edit all the other pages, not just those pages. You'll be able to edit all the other pages. So the login page will be editable as well. The shop page, the category page, everything will be editable as well. So I guess this is uh, everything that you will need to have a powerful mobile application. I see. Uh, okay. okay. How, do, I mean, okay. let's say we have the existing uh -huh. site. Let's say we have Sorry? existing site. How do we connect it in the first place? Uh, I'm sorry. Can you? Uh, can okay. You let's say now it? I have a WordPress oh. site. So I, oh. how do I connect it in the first place? You know, because you are building from the template. You know. Ah, uh, uh, you need to connect it from scratch. You mean? Yes. 
for example, uh, okay, uh, I'm going to share the screen again. I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so uh, here the, the application is ready. You can uh, download the APK uh, from using QR code and uh, check it out. Okay, yourself or download the file and uh, add it to your phone. This is for Android, for example. Okay, uh, replying to your question, uh, when you ask for the uh, connecting, connection with the website, uh, it will be through here. You will download just the plugin, add it to your website, and add the link of the website here. For the template, you can just start from scratch by choosing this template. This is a blank template. Nothing is there. You can add the image, the text uh, blocks, the products, the categories, anything you want, and then the application will be ready in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, of course, uh, <clears throat> the templates are useful if you have similar products, you know. So, but sometimes you uh, might not have the similar products in, inside uh -huh. your template, then we have to do some... Uh, yeah, once you content. connect, actually, actually, once you, uh, it, it gets the products, not uh, those products are not from, from a template and the categories, they, are, they reflect the products in your WooCommerce and WordPress website. So, uh, the WordPress website has some pro uh, X products in X category, you will find them here. So all this list of the uh, product categories here, all this list is from the uh, of, is from the website demo.staxaclients.com that I have. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, I understand. Yeah. So yeah. let me. Okay, why don't we answer some question from from the audience? You know, yes. uh, you can see okay. on the I'll right switch hand side. the sharing off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, perfect. You can scroll from the top to the bottom and just answer that. Uh, top to the bottom, uh, the, does it also work for iOS? Yes, sure. It works for iOS. Uh, I, I just showed you uh, an application for the for the Android. Uh, uh, there is an icon for the iOS and just you enter the developer's account, iTunes developer's account, and just click on a button. The application will be uploaded automatically to the uh, iTunes. Okay. Uh, so you'll be able to release it and so on. Um, is it uh, okay questions are <laughs> rolling is it possible to build uh, a booking app uh, uh currently there is no way to to integrate with booking app except with uh, through a web view so there can be a web view uh, a, a button uh, that uh, links to your website and then through your website you can add your booking or anything you want okay um let's see the same list uh, also I can't find the list integrated apps and plugins on the Stacks website. Uh, basically, it integrates with WordPress uh, and WooCommerce for now. And uh, all the payment gateways are accessible as well. All the, any payment gateway is, is available. Also, there is a push notifications uh, available. Uh, I forgot just to mention about it. Uh, you can send unlimited push notifications through Stacks uh, just to check the users uh, that will be sent to and the, uh, the push notifications will be working perfectly. Um, it supports WordPress and WooCommerce. Does it support if pages with a lot of CSS? Yes, sure, but it's not recommended. But yes, it can. It can support WebView. Uh, Publi and Integrately connections. I'm not sure about them. I didn't use them before. Uh, so, okay. Uh, 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 Basam, uh, Publi yes. is actually a, what I call an automation connector. Uh, no? So, uh, it's something like Zapier. Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it depends what you want to, to do. Actually, WooCommerce works uh, works correctly to, with Zapier, so it will work correctly with uh, Integrately and uh, Publi as well. But uh, the application itself to automate something through the, in the application is not available yet because we don't have an exposed API yet. But this is in our uh, future plan to do this. Um, uh, do we plan to have any add-ons? Yes, I believe so, for sure. But it will be just for advanced... Uh, add-ons, not the basic features like push notifications or uploading to, to Google Play and App Store like uh, other competitors are doing. Uh, it will not be for those basic features. It will be some for just uh, advanced uh, features. Um, push notifications is, is working perfectly through Firebase. Um, uh, open, uh, the external URL you link in mobile app images opens up in native mobile app itself or in Chrome, uh, 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 it's uh, it opens in a web view, so it's not Chrome. It's uh, it's the native uh, browser of the mobile itself. So uh, whatever the native browser that you have installed in your, uh, it it will be in the same frame of the mobile application. You will not get out of the mobile application and open Google Chrome. It will not be like that. It will be in the same frame of the mobile application. You can try it yourself uh, once you get a free trial and 
make it uh, external URL. So it will not be Google uh, Chrome. Once you click back, it will return back to the application. Um, for WordPress, uh, is it possible to build an app for the WordPress backend admin dashboard using stacks? Um, no, I don't guess uh, so. What's the benefit of an app now that most of the themes are responsive anyway? Ah, there is a huge difference between responsive uh, websites and mobile applications in the user experience and in the speed. Uh, in the, for example, uh, at the speed of the mobile application, uh, the mobile application is not built with a jQuery, for example, and not bloated with uh, too much CSS. Okay, but for the mobile application, the user experience is just that you are adding just the components and the styles and the scripts that you need in this specific view. Okay, but the with the, uh, with the browser and the web uh, sites which uh, which you can navigate and loads and loads and loads, it's like the difference difference between the web app and the website. So there is a huge difference, I guess I believe between the in the in terms of user experience and loading time between the website and the mobile uh, application. Uh, publish changes uh, directly to Google Play? Yes, sure, definitely. Once you click an update button, once the button of the update is clicked, the, the change is published automatically to all the users uh, uh, without the need to download a new version of the application. New version of the application is needed once you, uh, if you'd like to change the icon, once if you need to change the, uh, the Google font, we have more than 1,000 Google fonts to change for your brand. If you would like to change that font, if you'd like to change the color, for example, the brand color, which is rarely changed, those things, those minor things are needed, then you need to, to publish a new version. But in normal, or if we released a new version which with a new feature and you'd like to use this new feature, then you will need to update the application uh, uh, in the same time. But uh, for the application design, once you click the update button, it is automatically published everywhere. Uh, full mobile site without integrating WordPress. Yes, exactly. But you can integrate with full websites uh, without integrating with WordPress or WooCommerce, but it will be through a web uh, a web view. Uh, yes, I replied about the push notifications. You can add iframes into the app. Yes, you can add through the embed link that I uh, mentioned. Native chat experience for users. Yes, I have a demo with uh, chat through a button and the embed link uh to the chat uh i can mention in a comment uh, or uh send you a link to youtube if you open the, our youtube channel you will find a short video actually talking about the uh the the how to add the chat inside the uh inside the uh, inside the application we have a youtube channel with with many uh short videos discussing all those things uh limit uh, on user they can use no there is no limit you can unlimited users can be used uh, can use the the system um, it works only with WordPress currently for the current moment, yes. But after your support, actually, we will be able to build more platforms uh, later on. Uh, all WooCommerce plugins, for sure not. <laughs> and now it's a huge. It works with WooCommerce uh, basically for now. And we are integrating, listening to your requests and applying uh, uh, after that. Can we make audio listening app with this? No, I don't guess. So there is no application in the in the audio listening for now. Um, oh, how does it compare uh, it with App My Site? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, okay, so App My Site basically needs to uh, uh, I, I, you you have a template, okay, in the home screen, and just to switch on or off uh, each section. Okay, so you need a slider. You don't need a slider. You need a products block, or you will turn off the products block, and that's it for all for all the other sections. But you, you don't have the capability to build the design the design that you have in mind. For example, I in my example, I took an image, I added an image, added text, added products, and then I can, I dragged and dropped everything. It's like Elementor or Gutenberg. Okay, you can change the design the way you want. Also, you can add a section, nested elements. In App My Side, there is no way to customize the design in this way. Okay, you can add a section with two columns, and each column has an image and a button and so on. So if this is not possible, how I am be able? Will I be able to uh, to make uh, a design, my own design, my unique mobile application experience? The the target here or the goal here is not to have uh, hundreds of applications that all look similar. Okay, we need to have an application with my own that reflects my own brand and reflects my own uh, identity. Okay, my own brand identity. That's it. So there is uh, the, the main difference between both of us is 
about the flexibility in the design experience. Uh, does it work with Gutenberg and Elemental and Oxygen? Yes, it's separated from the websites, totally. Uh, that's the last question I will answer, okay? And then I'll stop. Uh, it does, it, it, your website will work with Elementor, Gutenberg, or whatever. And the mobile application has its own builder. Brickets, you can use it uh, independently than uh, those builders. So it works well with everything. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you speak very fast, no problem. Uh, just now I'm we are sorry, talking did about you hear me? your contract. Yeah, I can hear you. The oh, okay. there is the comparison chart, you know. I, I saw somewhere in your website uh, on the app, my site, and your the other competitor. Can you show it on the screen? Oh yes. Can you share it? Uh, give, give me a second to open it before. Um, sure. Let's and, uh, in the blog. You must uh, share your screen. Ah uh, yes, uh, I, I need to open it first. <laughs> Okay, I, I guess it was, and uh, we, we, we reshared it uh, many ways because we have been asked uh, about this question uh, many times. So give me a second, please. I'm sorry about that. I need to open it from Medium. Uh, I guess this, uh, this is not, uh, I, don't, I don't have the link right now uh, to it, but, uh, but it's there. I can post a, a comment on the, after the live session is done, and I can post a comment with the, with the chart, with this chart. I don't have it right now, actually. I'm sorry about that. Okay, no problem. But I believe the idea. I believe the idea is uh, uh, is well received. And I I told you the the main idea and the main concepts. What's the difference? Main core difference between us and at my site. The capability of okay. the design that you have in the application. So that's the main the main core difference. So okay, I mean, just now you're answering the question from bottom to top. So now we have to go to the bottom. <laughs> okay. uh, I can. I have to go uh, to go again. Uh, okay. Um, no, you have to go. You know, so let let me let me show in the screen the question. Okay, then then you, you can answer. Bro. That would be okay. better, right? <laughs> yes. Because yeah. okay, let me see. Uh... Oh yes. Okay, this has this been answered? Does it work with a website with a directory plugin and a Woo plugin? Woo plugin directory. Yes. directory plugin, no, it's listing, directory listing, not yet. But Woo plugin, yes. Okay. But in all cases, you can have your directory uh, style and settings on your website and just add a button in your application that redirects to this page. And you can go from there. After okay. he is done, just a click back, he will be back to the application itself. Okay, so the next question is, uh, does it work with a website with, oh, no, sorry. Custom field. Uh, custom, custom field post and a uh, custom post type, yes. Uh, uh, yes, we're working on that. That's in our roadmap on our website. You will find the custom post types. There are currently, there's the post block, the post normal post block, uh, posts, uh, uh, WordPress posts, and uh, WooCommerce uh, products. But uh, uh, it's coming, the all the custom post types, yes. It okay, will be coming we are soon. talking about this uh, roadmap. Uh, can you show the screen on the roadmap? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, sure. Yeah, then everybody can see what is the roadmap. Sure, one second. Okay, let me share my screen. You have not shared your screen yet. Okay, uh, I shared it. Yeah, now it's good. Uh, okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, we, we had this, uh, those uh, features for the new builder, uh, and all of them are done. Um, now we are working on designing many pages. We still didn't finish it yet uh, to be able to edit all the pages of the application, not just single page. Uh, after that, we're working on ads, in the uh, ads inside the application, the translation, uh, to be able to have multilingual in the application, and integration with Google Analytics. Uh, there will be integration with booking, multi-vendor, and the custom taxonomies and custom post types will be in this place. Okay, here. What type of a booking post... plugin you are talking about? Because I'm sorry to interrupt. What type of booking uh, plugin? Uh, this will be in this situation. We are going to uh, uh, communicate with our customers. Uh, what are the most used uh, plugin that you would like to have, and then we will go from there. Okay, so we don't, so have, we don't have we don't have yeah any any plugin that has a, 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 a well a high popularity 
uh, in the community and the people needs it, then we make a vote and poll and then people tells us, okay, well, this is the most uh, used plugin and this uh, that's what we want to integrate with. Okay. So uh, all this are based on the customer's uh, feedback and customer requests. We add when we develop this roadmap based on their requests. And the, what we've done already is based on their feedback and, uh, and their, uh, their requests as well. Uh, so there will be after that the Google Maps and uh, a membership plugin because people were asking for membership, making content private with membership plugin and supporting other platforms as requested here, like Shopify, Magento, and many others. And the uh, online chat inside the application, actually I've done it uh, in this, uh, so it, it doesn't need to be in the future of the, uh, of the roadmap. It will, it's already done uh, in the previous month. So yes, we have <laughs> uh, some, uh, some good features coming uh, in the upcoming few, uh, few months. Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's continue with the question. Sure, sure. Hold on. Okay, let's go from the bottom again. How about AI-based one like convey this? I don't understand this question. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Leo, 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 cool. What is this? The AI-based one like convey this? I I don't understand. Are you talking about booking in integration? Uh, please write it down. Okay, then next question. Uh, okay, he's talking about uh, uh, this multilingual. multilingual uh, okay. To work <laughs> okay, yes, uh, WPML uh, polylang. Yes. So, what is your. <laughs> sorry, can Leo. It be... <laughs> so, what is the answer, Basam? Uh, for what W? Yes, I, I said uh, WPML and Polylang, both of them will be uh, included to uh, translating the the application. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> next question: Can a booking then be used for travel agency website? Uh, uh, booking is currently it's in our roadmap, as I mentioned in the in the roadmap section. Uh, but uh, if you'd like to the the user to redirect to be redirected to the website to book and then come back to the application then yes it's possible through an image or a button but then i'm i was thinking that you know for travel website sometimes it's a bit complicated i mean you look at booking.com is a very complex uh, website you know you uh, understand yes. sure. booking.com oh, yeah, yeah, sure. is a very complex uh, website you know and they have a lot of uh, let's say hotel or restaurant or whatever you know so i'm not sure whether they are talking about this or or maybe some simpler kind of a, a travel agency website <laughs> for sure it will be simpler because uh, booking.com has many advanced features but uh, but uh, uh, basically what we what we will integrate with is the plugin itself so it will be based on the capabilities of the, the plugin is offering uh, exactly like the woocommerce if the woocommerce is giving such capability it will be available in the mobile application as well Okay, let's move to the this question. Okay, after the app we build manually, upload to the and pay. Does this uh, happen directly via website? Okay, uh, Google Play for Google Play, you will get the APK or AAB file and then upload it to the uh, to the Google Play. Uh, okay, this is this is this will be manually. But for the iTunes, you'll just click build and then it will be uploaded with the version new version that you released. This version will be added to our tunes and then you'll submit it for review yourself because you'll need to add the description, any images, change the images, and so on. Okay, Pasam, I suggest you go to that screen, uh, share the screen, and show, no. show to the audience. Because you are and, the uh, creator, you do everything about your app, but we do not uh -huh. know. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you need to know about the, the, app, the app store. You right? Manually upload, you know, yes, to answer uh, this question. Uh, okay, let me share the screen. Just share your screen, uh, how, how to do it, yes. Okay, so let's say for the Google Play, I have a new release, there is a new version, there will be a block here. Uh, for example, the video block, the video block is just added right now. 
and you'd like to release it to, to your customers. Okay, you would like to release it to your customers. So you will use this button. Then you will need to just go to Android Build, then download the AAB file. Okay, you need to generate an AB, but for example, you will download the file. This file will be added like this, like I'm doing now. Okay, download it. Then I will upload it to Google Play manually. Okay. But for the iOS, once I go to the Apple settings, I'll go to the Apple settings. This is the first time I built from this account. So I'll just fill uh, those settings here and just go to the uh, iTunes and click the same, the same build button. Build and click the version, then click generate. The application will be generated and automatically uploaded to the iTunes. No need to do anything else. Okay? <laughs> okay. So, yes. Okay, let's go to the next question. Would you consider integrating some funnel builders like Cutflow, WP Funnels, and Wu Funnels? I'm not ah. sure you understand this question. Uh, yes, yes, I understand it. After okay. I, uh, okay, uh, that's a very good, interesting question, actually. So, uh, uh, in after I will be able to uh, edit all the screens, as I mentioned, in the couple uh, few weeks, you will ha you will be able to edit all the screens. After that, the, the thing that I'm working on right now is that uh, you will be able to create a new screen. This new screen, you will be able to connect screens, generate new screens that I didn't create, and connect them together. By this way, you will be able to generate your own funnel. You will be able to generate your own flow of the application. After this is done, the, so it will be, uh, you, you will have the same flow like card flows or WP funnels or roof funnels and so on. I hope you, I answered your question. Okay. You mean you building new pages is not a problem, but integrating directly, for example, card flow and uh, WP funnels or Wu funnels. So this is a specific question. Uh, if I, um, that, that's, what, uh, that's how I answered it. Uh, if I'll be able to generate new screens, then I'll be able to integrate after that with WP funnels and card flows and so on. So uh, if there is no way to generate new screens, then uh, you will not be able to integrate with Wu funnels, for example. Okay, that's good. Okay, no. this, uh, I mean, this is another WooFunnel uh, affirmative, uh, what I call a plugin. So are you able to, I mean, the answer is definitely yes, no? If you able to do a new screen. Okay. Yeah. Let's go up again. Okay, this is answered. Does it give uh, user yes. Uh, uh, the session is uh, is used. Yes, the session is uh, is synced, especially and uh, in the checkout process, because uh, how how we built the checkout screen, for example, is that uh, the checkout is not is, is a screen that reflects exactly the checkout of your website, but in a beautiful manner. Okay. Uh, what I do, why I, I've done this, because I'd like to integrate with all the payment gateways that you use in your WooCommerce uh, website. So, because this is a very critical part for your business. So, I made this part as a uh, web uh, web view. This part, this only part of the checkout. This is uh, a web view that reflects exactly the checkout of your website. I pass the session from the cart page to the checkout and then pass it back to the uh, to the application once the order is done. So that's how it works. So by this way, you are already integrated with all the payment gateways of the WooCommerce. I hope this okay. answers your question. <laughs> okay, the next question is this uh, by Leo Ku. So you are Stackbook as a wrapper or something no, like no, Chrome? No, 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 not at all. It's an option, but it's not. Uh, this is a secondary option if you'd like to have it. But basically, it's a uh, it's a, a pure application, mobile application, totally unique mobile application that doesn't need any website to uh, to uh, to show its content. It doesn't show the content. It can show the content, but it's not the main use. The main use is a builder. We build every block, and these blocks are native blocks and sections designed specifically for the mobile application. Okay, so let's answer this question, uh, Leo again. So web host API, mm. uh, yeah, Graph, yeah, GraphQL coming yeah. soon for the developers. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I love to support the developers as well because this will grow the community uh, much faster. So yes, 
Yeah, because Leo is a developer as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy to see you, Leo. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Suresh was asking, you know, does it does the oh, stock yes. control? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because we we think the products with their stock and the the price and the sales of the product and so on. Every so the stock, yes, it syncs automatically with the mobile application and the WhatsApp. Okay, this question is by Leo again. How about shipping plugins? You know, because some of us yeah. need complex shipping option. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, the the shipping the shipping process itself is handled in the checkout page. So all the shipping plugins will be added uh, automatically to this part, the checkout. I remove the calculations of the, of the shipping and how it weigh and the weight and so on and the customizations of the plugin. I removed it from the cart page and moved it out to the checkout uh, screen. So that you can, uh, uh, yeah, the the person will see the taxation and the shipping in the checkout, which reflects your website. So it will work perfectly. Okay, let's go to the bottom again. You know, uh, let me see. Sign in user experience. For example, I wish people who register on my website be accessible inside. For example, membership site or. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, for sure, yes. It has a, a login and sign-up screens. Uh, but you need to customize those screens. That's what I'm trying to uh, to do in the, in this period, actually, in the upcoming week or two, uh, to be able to customize those screens as much as possible. It's not a must to, to integrate with membership uh, plugin right now in this moment, but you'll be able to customize the login page the way you want to, to have a better user experience for the uh, login and sign-up uh, views. Okay, let's go to the next question. Hmm. What level does unlimited come from? You is talking about unlimited plan or what? No, right? Uh, yeah, the unlimited plan uh, is for the unlimited number of applications. This is for agencies that you just pay the flat fee right now. It will not last long for sure, but it will be you will pay the uh, flat fee right now, and then uh, you will have unlimited number of applications for your. Uh, customers, if you are in case you are an agency, uh, so this, you get uh, um, sorry, no, this I'm question gonna... is actually asking about future development and also is it included in, in the yes, in this? We have we have uh, two things we have the core features of the application, the core features is already uh, uh, included and will always be free, okay? But the, the thing that might cost, as I said, if there is an advanced add on that I added or integrated. This might have uh, a certain uh, price uh, separated than the uh, the original package. Okay, I mean fair enough because uh, if it is at once add on that increase your cost of uh, I mean creating it or maintaining it, I think that that should be uh, chargeable, yeah. you no? Know? <laughs> Rather than yeah, you yeah, know, sure. it cannot be free, you know. I mean fair enough, you know. So I yeah. understand, but then some people might uh, misunderstood that you know they want everything free. And for future, anything that is coming on to the to the development, they want it free. So I think sometimes it's hard to do it as a developer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because uh, the cost of developing those features is uh, is a lot, and maintaining those features for all future uh, updates and upgrades is it costs a lot. But uh, we will make sure that most of the of the feature core features of the application will be accessed uh, for the same price that they paid already. They will. Uh, I will not uh, tell you. Okay, in order to have the translation, for example, you need to pay uh, to have the translation or any. It will be for fancy features and not the core features of the mobile application. Okay, so Pratik is asking this question. This is interesting. You know, do you have a Visual Flow Builder? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is exactly what we're doing now. Uh, now, uh, the visual flow to connect uh, to connect uh, views. This button connects to uh, to this view, and this image connects to this view, and so on. This is exactly you had <laughs> read what we are doing uh, right now. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good this <laughs> question. Um, uh, okay, if somebody stack five codes, uh, you got ten project okay. value at two four nine. Does it mean we can convert ten app in? This plan, I think yes, that is that is an answer. Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, you can convert the ten apps. Yes, uh, uh, the the ten projects. Uh, each project is uh, can you can build Android and iOS for each project. You have. 
the project is connected to a single website actually. So and this website can have Android and iOS. So one project is one app, basically, right? Android and iOS, yes. That means it's, uh, Android, it's uh, uh, yeah. to... uh, Android that and iOS is, to... is one app. Uh -huh. Okay, Android and iOS uh, yeah. is one app. Okay, because it's the same yeah, uh, same uh, uh, project, you know? Yeah, exactly, it's same project. No, just different platforms, but same project. Yes. Okay, this uh, Suresh is asking, you know, <laughs> Hundred dollars uh, for yeah. development account and Android is thirty five. Uh, uh, it will be a very uh, a, a very big problem if uh, if the account is mine. Okay, if I will pay those amounts and the account is owned by Stacks, it will be a huge problem because uh, this will mean that if my account is closed, all your applications will be down. So this is covered <laughs> by you. Uh, I, yeah, this is covered by you. Uh, you you will need. Ah, uh, can you imagine if, <laughs> if uh, my account is down, everything is down. This this will be uh, okay. Uh, a very big problem. So now, uh, but but what 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 we do now is that you just purchase the iTunes developers account, the Google Play account yourself, and then upload the applications on your accounts under your name, and everything is owned by you. We don't need to control uh, your applications. I think cost is one thing, you know, the total control and ownership of your account is one thing, you know. I, I guess, yeah. you know, you do not want uh, Abazam to, to have control over <laughs> your, your account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, nobody needs that, actually. <laughs> this is, uh, this will lead to many problems. Okay, let's start. This question, hmm. can we have to publish? I, I don't understand this question. Publisher account means uh, as Google or iOS, right? Uh, yeah, for, for iOS, I believe the publisher account is talking about it, the developer's account. Uh, for iTunes, there is a developer's account. You can add as a team or a single uh, developer for $100 or $300. Uh, uh, you, you can publish. How many publisher accounts can we have to publish the apps? You can publish the app. Each application will be published uh, once, if you need to to publish the same app on multiple accounts, okay, no problem. It will. Uh, uh, the most important thing is that my system uploads the application to an account. Whatever you add, the account is and click save, and the application will be uploaded. I don't think uh, I, I don't know what is the use case of this situation, but okay, yes, it can do that. Okay, let's answer this uh, question. I think could have been answered. Or oh, this is an unlimited plan, which means you can build unlimited apps, I you know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, for I example, mean, if, you have, if you have 100, 100 customers, if you have 100 customers, for example, then you can have 100 applications for your 100, those 100 customers. Provided you buy this unlimited plan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. exactly. <laughs> Sam was asking, you know, possible to create a directory app or any integration. I thought that was answered. Maybe just answer again. Uh, maybe in the future. It's not in the current roadmap because it's not request. It was never uh, requested before. But as I said, if there is something that is not uh, there in a direct way or a native way, you can always add a button or an image that redirects to a place where you can list your uh directory uh application or you can have an in, uh whatever the integration whether it was a booking or directory application or anything like that you can have a button that redirects to a page that you want okay so suresh uh, raised a concern <clears throat> about ah. uh, i think they're talking about at my site you know so i'm not sure uh, but i think suresh they're yeah. talking about it so they want uh, they want some kind of assurance, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, let's say uh, in the couple few days, I, I'm not sure if this is uh, uh, an assurance for you, but uh, in the couple few days, we have been meeting on daily basis with uh, one of our customers in order to make the application designed correctly and everything is uh, is smooth and having uh, zoom meetings th this customer was uh, already on using uh, app my site and he migrated his system totally to us uh, his website is called uh, green uh, dot, uh, co dot, uh, do i guess uh, and uh, this customer is actually using and is very happy with the support uh, because we had a meeting like this one that we had he had the meeting with me 
and not uh, any other member. And uh, we had a meeting uh, maybe a couple of hours or something to, to address all his issues. Uh, it's not a must to have this as all our uh, methodology uh, to have meetings like this, but that's how we support our customers. Uh, the main thing that we have been in the field, by the way, we've been in the field for, as I said, for 10 years. Um, before we do stacks, we've been developing themes for Theme Forest. I believe you know Theme Forest. And we had we were an elite authors for Theme Forest. So, yes, I believe that uh, we, we, we have given our team, uh, our, our, uh, our community, the support that they need till we reach the elite authors. And no one was uh, sad from the support that they get. The same, the same methodology and the same concept we are, we are using uh, in this uh, in this uh, situation and with our customers here. And it's easy. Try or uh, try yourself, and you will be happy. I guess. <laughs> I believe that you'll be happy. <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh, there are a lot of questions. You know, I also got confused. Yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the price of agency, but I need to. I think you have to go to the deal page. Yep. But I do not know how much is that. Uh, Rasan, do you three hundred? You know, uh, unlimited, unlimited, three hundred eighty-nine dollars. Three hundred eighty-nine dollars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you provide source code? No. <laughs> this is a cloud-based. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a cloud-based system. Uh, we don't provide the source code, uh, uh, but there will be an API, and that's what you need actually to have an API. The source code for what? The source code for the mobile application, maybe? You will have a release, uh, a release the mobile application to just upload it to Google Play and App Store. Okay, Leo was asking, I mean, just now hmm. we are talking about uh, one salon, uh, you know? Is uh, it one-time price know. or subscription? Yes, what, what we are, yeah, well, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. But uh, what I'll do now is that we have, we have thing, uh, something important in our uh, methodology here is that we don't need to make it uh, harder on our lifetime members. For sure. So, so this is this is the, our main concern. Uh, this is one thing. The other thing is that we always make polls for these cases. Okay. So I will make a poll uh, and many polls to make sure that people are uh, are aware from our pricing uh, new pricing strategy for the add-ons and they like it and they will use it and they will not uh, uh, be sad for after we release the <laughs> those pricing. Uh, okay. Uh, we can understand this concern because. Uh... <clears throat> There are many instances of uh, founders who actually come back with, uh, I mean, want to charge extra for certain things that is uh, easy to do, you know, that Definitely. kind of thing. So I think, Look, I, I think Basam is a reasonable man, you know. I mean, you can get a poll from the members, you know, what is the best for the members and then what the price level, that kind of thing. I think that's a good gesture, you know, to interact with the customer, you know, uh, what they want and do a survey on what type of pricing and that kind of thing. So I think you are doing right in that way. Uh, yes, and uh, I, I, it actually how I deal with my with my uh, LTD uh, users, uh, I consider them as my uh, early investors. Okay, so I'm not going to uh, to make high prices to have a, a small feature. Uh, that's not reasonable. That's not how I should. Uh, deal with my uh, early investors. Okay, let's look at this question. Uh, I'm sorry, this question. Um, also, going to publish. Yes, source are automatically generated. Uh, automatically generated. If you uh, automatic, everything is automatically generated uh, because it's uh, one click to upload everything. Uh, in the example that I showed, uh, shared uh, my screen with, I just click a button. I didn't do anything else. You will just need yeah. to do the same. Just to click a button and your, the application will be generated. No need to generate yeah, anything. Really no code. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. Oh, this is something different, you know? Unlimited. That means oh. this is like an agency. They don't want to resell, you know? Uh, this is... Uh, okay, this is something... Uh, actually critical well, we, we didn't develop yet the, the multiple team members a single team member a team member for now but after the launching of the unlimited plan it was requested to have unlimited team members but the problem here is that uh, if we allowed unlimited team members with the unlimited plan then the system is totally hacked okay <laughs> this is total hack for our <laughs> system <laughs> yeah. unlimited plan unlimited team members then what i'm saying okay the account will be accounts will be shared everywhere for a single dollar and 
okay i i can't make and get any subscribers anymore so uh, i can do this i am i'm obliged to 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 make uh, add limitations in this situation because i uh, i saw people on groups are saying uh, okay let's share the account and let's uh, purchase this account together let's uh, collect five people to purchase this account so on so this is something that uh, it's not intended to be, to be built like that okay this harms us a lot okay you know to to have these uh, situations and we have to to make limitations and disable such features in order to be able to uh, maintain the project because if the project collapsed it will be it will collapse on all the subscribers we don't want to reach this situation for sure yeah i think it's, you have to be fair to the founders you know so i mean if yeah. everything unlimited then sooner or later you go bankrupt <laughs> ah yes because it will hurt my soul okay okay let's go to the next question multi-vendor functionality no. Multi-vendor is not supported right now. The, the the application will just get the products and get the categories for now. It will just get the uh, products and the categories and it will display them. Uh, no multi-vendor and you can you can add the, the functionality like adding images and each image redirects to a certain category or something. Or you can preview the categories and the categories will go to the single product. The single product will go to the cart and checkout and so on. So yes, this is uh, yeah, if this is the situation, Yes, you can use the multi-vendor, no problem. The multi-vendor, the concept of the multi-vendor is related to the admin panel more than the uh, than the application. But if you'd like to have extended uh, functionality of the multi-vendor inside the application, like the login for each vendor or something like that, then this is not possible. Okay, so I think this has been answered. That's all WooCommerce plugin work with Stacks. Uh, for, uh, not yet, for sure. And this will be—I don't think this will be a case in any uh, uh, in any situation. But after we make the APIs available, uh, I believe that uh, uh, people will and the community will build the integrations themselves. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, then there's a question. Can have mobile app and have the certificates? Can use our existing. I mean, reuse the certificate. <laughs> uh. Uh, yes, you can send me the certificates, uh, and uh, I can add a button easily. I can add a button so that you can upload your own certificates, or you can just send me the certificate, and I'll add it to the system so that you can build. Um, you are asking this because you would like to uh, uh, to update the application, I believe. You'd like to update the application, the current application, Google Play or App Store. So yes, just send me the certificates. I'll add it to the system, and they will produce the application for you so that you can upload it. No, maybe he's talking about migrating from other app builder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so the application X is available on Google Play and App Store. So just you will send me the certificates. I'll add it to the system, and uh, you'll be able to click the build button to upload this uh, the application as an update to the current application, so that you can maintain the current customers. Okay, so I think we have answered most of the question. Uh, any more questions that are coming in? You know, uh, so that we can answer that. Mm. Hi guys, uh, just write it on the chat box. Nobody. So okay. Uh, uh, there, there's one person who is asking, I'm sorry uh, to interrupt, but there's one person who, uh, is asking, uh, do you have a documentation or tutorial uh, how to apply for a developer account and upload to the Android and iOS? Yes, uh, there is uh, a knowledge base uh, full of articles and there is uh, YouTube videos showing you the steps to, uh, to upload the application, every step to upload the application to uh, Google Play and App Store. Uh, but not generating an account, but we can do that. We can help you with uh, tutorials. There are many tutorials on the internet how to uh, create accounts on Google Play and App Store. Many tutorials. We can help you with some. But for Stacks, how to upload? Yes, we have videos and we have documentation step-by-step -step tutorials. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so guys, uh, I think uh, some of you are asking the deal link. You just go to the the place that you see the live video, I mean the Facebook live, 
scroll to the top of the post, then you can see what I wrote in the on the deal link on the top. So it's quite easy. I mean, if you scroll the scroll through the chat, also you can see the deal link. Yeah, this is the deal link as well. Uh, uh, Larry has already uh, posted. it. You know, thank you, Larry. Okay, so we are almost time. Uh, okay, because uh, we have quite a number of uh, participants here. Okay, Basam, uh, the giveaway is actually uh, supposed to be random uh, the chain. Uh, what they call we use a uh, what they call a uh, wheel of uh, wheel of names to to do to choose randomly. So you want to do it now or you want to do it? later no i can always do it later and uh, broadcast it live uh, tomorrow or whatever because i need to collect the names you know but it's very difficult yeah. to collect the names now <laughs> ah, yes, there are many names here and many questions yeah i see yeah so, okay. Uh, okay it's totally up to you yeah i'll leave this to you totally you, you choose the right time to do this yeah because uh i mean i will just collect the name after this maybe i do it tonight or maybe tomorrow morning then uh, i broadcast it live and then we choose a random winner of uh, those who attended uh, tonight perfect Would that be okay i'm totally interested to see uh, uh who will be the the one in the, in the uh, with our, with us so yeah, totally yeah. Interested. because there's so so many of you you know because sometimes uh oh somebody say suresh but some should just pick one I mean, uh, to me, it's not a big issue. Only thing that you know, I mean, maybe we should uh, draw the draw the what I call the the lot is better, you know, because there are so many. A lot of people ask a lot of questions. Okay, Suresh, they we don't give you only one uh, one one uh, one prize. If you go to the post where we do the giveaway, you have another three prizes to be won. You know, for this Facebook Live, it's only one prize. But for the other three, you have uh, chances to win it because you can just write a re uh, post a what I call a comment in the uh, deal mirror site. Then after that, copy into our group. Then we will uh, join this uh, giveaway. So do it now. Okay, guys. Uh, it's very difficult for me to drop, put the name now because <laughs> by the time sometimes I miss your name, a lot of people were not happy, and some of you don't put your Facebook username inside. Uh, what they call this a uh, chat, you no? Know? So that that is an issue, you know. So we have uh, actually, uh, I don't know, like this guy, I do not know your name. You just put views. I do not know your name, so you have to put your name. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Okay, uh, Leo, you are asking. What's your block term, uh, long term plan with stacks? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, as I said, uh, I've been developing apps and uh, websites for many customers, uh, like banks. I've been developing apps for uh, uh, for Oppo and Walt Disney um, and uh, many other uh, uh, large agencies in US and Europe. Uh, but to to be to be specific here and answering your question. Uh, I, I would like Stacks to be able to build everything that I built in the past uh, through Stacks for an affordable price. So that's my vision, uh, to be able to build anything uh, through Stacks, not just an application, WooCommerce, e-commerce application, anything like travel, uh, like uh, a blog magazine, uh, like for banks, for something for banks, for photography, for anything, anything that you come with. Uh, and the developers community, there will be a huge, I believe, huge developers uh, community around Stacks. That's my vision. That's what I uh, wish for, so that they can support each others to grow, uh, to grow the the platform uh, a lot more. I hope. Okay, this I, your I think that we have missed one question. You know, this is a question. They want to see some published app. You know, is there any example for them to see? Uh, but yes, but I, uh, I'm not sure how to share it with you. Uh, I can send you, what about sending a link? Uh, there are links on Google Play already. I can send you some links on uh, Google Play or App Store so that you can, uh, people can download. Okay, I can send you links uh, after the meeting so that you can send it. Yeah, in, you can in post, comment, in the, post it in the group. I mean, yeah, into okay. this post, then, then we can actually yeah, yeah. see the copy. And unless you want to yeah. show your phone, you know, <laughs> that would be very difficult. Okay, guys, uh, that's it, you know. So, oh, one more question come. 
Yeah. Can you build games? Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully in the future. <laughs> uh, hopefully. I mean, that is a yeah. totally different, uh, different ball game, I believe. Uh, uh, there can be uh, uh, there can be buttons. Uh, I'm not sure how to build. The, uh, currently, no, I believe not possible. But in the future, uh, there might be ways to do this. Uh, after adding uh, pages connected together and many more blocks, then it might be possible to add points after doing something. Maybe, but it's not Unity. You know, it's not a framework or a platform for app uh, for games. Currently, it's mm -hmm. not. That's not the intention of the of the of stacks. But who knows? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. So, okay, we will answer this last question. We will end this, you know. Uh, I think this was yeah. answered, you know. Integrate Shopify. Yeah. And it's, in, it's in our roadmap, actually. Yes, it's in our roadmap. Okay, guys, uh, that's all. Uh, we will actually uh, do the draw after this. Uh, let me collect the name. Make sure that everyone's names are inside. You know, uh, don't want to disappoint somebody. I, I did once before, you know, we missed out one or two names. And I mean, they are not happy, you know. So let's do it uh, afterwards. And Basam, uh, do you have anything to say before we actually uh, end this uh, officially? Um, I, 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 I totally uh, happy with this, uh, with this uh, meeting and uh, webinar and sharing information with uh, and replying to all uh beautiful actually customers actually i love i love this situation this whole situation and uh i wish to offer in the future yeah i wish to offer in the future a system a, a very solid platform that uh, everyone can use and uh satisfies the needs of uh, all those uh, customers thank you so much for uh for this uh hour this one hour yeah okay Thank you again. Uh, okay, I also like to say something before we actually end the uh, Facebook Live here. Okay, I, you can see that you know, guys, uh, Basam is a very enthusiastic uh, developer. You know, you know, he talks so fast. Yeah. You know, the moment you talk about his app, you know, he talks so fast. You know, he so get excited. Uh, <clears throat> so I think we have a good founder here. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> I think a lot of people uh, have been using at my site. You know, your competitor and. They are not hmm. so happy, I believe. You know, some of them are complaining. So I'm not sure because uh, I don't use uh, at my site. Uh, I actually bought at my site as well. <laughs> so I oh. haven't used it to be frank. <laughs> to be frank. So let's see uh, how it goes. Uh, so for those who want to buy this app, you know, just go to my go to the top of the post. You know, the links are there, and you can just uh, check it out. You know, and don't forget we have another three prizes uh, for you to comment on the Facebook post. Yes. And other than, I mean, if you don't win in this uh, Facebook Live, it's only one prize. No, you can actually participate in the the other one. You know, you have another three prizes. So with that, I would like to say thank you again, uh, Basam, and thank you, everyone, team, and no? thank you, Albert. Oh. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Albert. I mean, even though you are here, yeah. uh, you 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 have your co-founder as well as a uh, Mawa. You know, uh, your your yeah, I'm uh, um, yes, guy. Um, my co-founder. Yes, <laughs> yes, is my co-founder. Thank you for, for your arrangement of this. Uh, uh, so I see you thank again, you. and we will end this session. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good day. Thank you so good much. evening. Have a nice day. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>